Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Thursday, the 9th of April. I'm James Spann. Got a beautiful day today, but we're looking at potential, potential for a major severe weather event on Easter Sunday, and that'll be the focus of this discussion. So let's go right to the maps. This is the upper air look across the country today, a big upper low just west of Las Vegas that will be lifting out, providing the severe weather dynamics for Sunday. But today, let's enjoy it. Beautiful, bright sunshine after pre-dawn storms. Temperatures are mostly in the 70s, Birmingham at 75, pretty close to seasonal averages. Awfully warm down south. Look at Tallahassee, 92, Dothan, 89. Got a summer preview, but everybody gets into cooler air tomorrow. In fact, we'll see highs dropping back in the 60s here. Pretty busy watch warning map. Most of the issues related to wind and cold temperatures. Freeze warnings in effect for parts of Kansas, Missouri, and Indiana. Winter storm watch for parts of Montana. And again, temperatures next week look pretty cold over much of the country for April. Here's the severe weather risk for the rest of today and tonight. Got the standard slight risk over New Jersey and some of the adjacent states. That includes Philadelphia. And look at Texas, an enhanced risk all the way down to the Rio Grande. This is tomorrow, a marginal risk over West Texas. Day three, Saturday, the standard risk over a large part of Texas and southwest Louisiana. And, of course, this is our focus here. On day four, Easter Sunday, we have a 30% chance of severe storms within 25 miles of a point over the southern half of the state. And understand that will probably be expanded in the outlook that's issued tomorrow for Sunday. But again, we'll talk about this day in just a moment. And then day five, which is Monday, the risk moves on to the east on the South Atlantic coast. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Pretty wet. Rain amounts here about three inches between now and Thursday morning of next week. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 4. Still got the upper low sitting over the southwest, troughing off the upper Atlantic coast. And again, a beautiful day tomorrow, but cooler. Uh, we start the day in the 40s. The high will be in the low to mid-60s, well below average for mid-April. Saturday, Saturday morning, we're going to see some 30s. And again, the chance of some scattered frost for colder pockets. Keep that in mind. The day will be sunny with a high in the low 70s. And then here comes our storm on Sunday. This is 4 o'clock Sunday afternoon off the GFS. The surface low on that model is near Harrison, Arkansas. On the European, the surface low is west of Memphis. But the net effect will be basically the same. Have a, a screaming jet stream aloft. Winds aloft in excess of 150 knots. That wind max rounding the base of the trough that's going negative tilt. Very unstable air into Sunday night. This is the flash rate product, lightning flash density coming off the European. And again, uh, we'll be much more specific on timing tomorrow, but the models have trended slower. In fact, we might have a few storms in the afternoon and then a few more storms Sunday night. There could be two rounds of this stuff. Uh, and whenever the storms go up, they could easily be severe. Here's a forecast sounding off the 12-kilometer NAM uh, for Tuscaloosa. And again, uh, look at the photograph. You can see the veering of the wind with altitude, the dry air in the mid-levels, and the possible hazard type is listed as a PDS tornado situation, particularly dangerous situation. And understand, we don't say this to alarm anybody. This is April in Alabama. We've had these kind of days before. But uh, we just encourage everybody to be very weather aware on Easter Sunday. And tomorrow we'll start making the timing maps and be really specific about the threats. But there is no doubt, based on the forecast profile here, we could see maybe a few long-track supercell storms and maybe a strong long-track tornado across the Deep South. This is Monday. We're dry, much cooler. Clouds probably lingering much of the day. We might stay in the 50s all day. Cold air advection. This is Tuesday. We're going to be down in the 30s to start the day. The high will be in the 60s. Look at the anomalies. That's really cold for the high plains for April. In fact, much of the United States in cold air. Wednesday, still very cool and dry. And a week from today, big troughing over the east. And again, temperatures will likely stay below average. We'll go out 10 days. This is Sunday the 19th, troughing over Texas. That still looks pretty quiet for us. 
Here's the rain for Birmingham off the GFS Ensemble mean, approaching 5 inches over the next 15 days. Let's look at the uh, GFS Ensemble. I think this is pretty close to the truth. It's got 39 for Birmingham Saturday morning. Colder pockets north of Birmingham, a pretty good chance you'll see some frost. But the concern is next week. Look at those mid-30s, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday morning, and that's for Birmingham. A lot of folks could see a freeze on multiple mornings next week or at least frost, so growers beware. It's the late-season cold snap we always warn you about every year. And these are the temperature anomalies for April 16th through the 22nd. A lot of blue temperatures below average for much of the contiguous United States. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. AS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.